Hello and a very warm welcome to New Age Parenting. It is said that success comes with big things, but happiness comes with small things. And these small things are all around us. You know, when you interact with your child, when you interact in your office, small things, good things, compassionate things makes us happy. And once we are happy, success is bound to come. And that is a mantra which we need to discuss with our children. In our soul searching segment, in fact, in our whole episode today, we would be talking about another new change which has come in the educational pattern in India, and that is the IB board. What is happening with this international curriculum? Why there is so much of fear amongst parents when the child wants to get into IB. What is the reality of IB? We will try to explore in this episode. Time for an open soul searching. And now time to meet our guest. We have two special guests. We have Mr. Tariq who is coordinator with Genesis Global School and we have Vatsalya Saini who is a class 11th student from Genesis Global School. A very warm welcome to both of you. Uh, Mr. Tariq, we start with you. International board and uh, you know international curriculum. A lot of parents would like to know. They've been wanting because it's little new in the, in India. Mm -hmm. What really changes in this curriculum from CBSC? Uh, this curriculum actually focuses on, uh, as you say, it's international curriculum. Uh, curriculum. It. Uh, focus on internationalism. Students have the option to choose between first language, second language, mathematics, sciences, humanities. So a child has the option to study languages, maths, science and humanities together. And of course there is a core part of uh, IV that's the uh, extended essay is there and uh, theory of knowledge and CAS part of it. That's very interesting. Actually, we always used to dream about it. You know, if this is possible, physics and philosophy coming together. Uh, but is it possible to take uh, IB if even if I've done my 10th from CBSC? Yeah, it's, it's open to everyone. It's open to people who are coming from CBSC. It's open to people who are coming from uh, ISC. And of course, the uh, Cambridge students who uh, do the IGCSC. So, any student who has done grade 10 from any There's a special board. entrance exam which they have to okay? We have a screening process where we would like to assess the language skills and the math skills. You shifted to this international board in class 9th only from CBSC, right? No, I'm class 7th. Class 7th. Mm -hmm. So what was the transition? Was it uh, like difficult? It requires you to think a lot. That way it's very similar to IB. If, even if you're doing a science, like if you're writing an answer of science, um, you will not have to copy the direct definition of something onto the paper but you will be you will have to use that definition to analyze the thing like they'll give you a situation and you have to anal using the definition and using your mathematical skills in subjects like chemistry physics you have to analyze that it means we can't have those fixed answers you know we used to mark like in the book that answer starts from this point to that point no it can't work no, anymore um no ma'am you have to use you still uh, use a lot of those basic concepts but um, you have to apply those basic concepts in your answers uh, it cannot be simply copying it from the book you know underlining it or highlighting it and just memorizing it you need to know inside out what your concepts are and um, but on the same hand it's uh, that way it becomes more challenging because you actually need to study throughout the two years you cannot just say that I'll study one month before the finals and I'll get amazing marks. Another aspect which is very important, you know, in today's time is the aptitude of the child. Yeah. Till now, parents have not been uh, comfortable with the aptitude tests also and the results because they have not been able to understand what does this mean, you know, about the test when the answers come. So, uh, what kind of children, you know, what kind of aptitude is required? to really go into IB? See, IB is open to everyone. And in fact, IB is one of the boards which gives the students a chance to probably reach its, his or her full potential. So we are not looking for any typical kind of kids. But yeah, kids need to think out of the box. Uh, there's a subject known as theory of knowledge, which... Uh, theory of knowledge. Theory of knowledge, which teaches uh, students that to challenge knowledge issues. Okay, how do we, uh, how do the students know what they know? They have acquired knowledge from parents, they have acquired knowledge from teachers. But to what extent is that knowledge true? Challenging the beliefs. So we challenge the knowledge beliefs. We try to inter interconnect all subjects together. So we try to create a world where 
each subject is interconnected uh, what kind of combinations they can take see again the biggest yeah. challenge or i think obstacle for indian students have always been is that you know uh, picking and choosing the subjects because mm -hmm. uh, they want to do a lot of things simultaneously all over the world i think they want to do yeah. they want to do theater and they want to do mathematics they want to do uh, you know music and they want to do maybe um, astrophysics yeah. so is it possible uh, in this uh, arena uh, in this curriculum we have six groups so uh, each student has to choose at least one subject from each group oh six subjects at uh, least so six have. subjects are there uh, group one is about english language of course so we study about uh, english literature and all Group two is about the second language, so the student has a chance to choose any any international language or the Indian language uh, from a range of uh, languages. Group three is about uh, humanities, so we can they can study about economics, business management, or something about information technology. So and group four is about sciences. So a student has to study a science. A student has to study maths. They have to study, of course, a international language. They have to study English language. So they have to study all together. It gives a bigger picture to them, okay, and they are prepared to take on of course the world in a better way. Do you think it might make you jack of all and master of none? <laughs> um, I fear that sometimes, ma'am. Uh, no, but it gives you the freedom also. Yes, ma'am. But uh, I think that um, being only the king of one thing is sometimes not as good as being the jack of all things i think and in the beginning yes. you know like it's your uh, Ma then you, yes yeah. then you can focus because being uh, good in every field uh, being decent in every field allows you to keep your options open then you can uh, you have a kind of a leeway in your life you know that if something doesn't work out for you you have this you have another skill set at hand ready say if i'm doing um, economics with uh, physics and chemistry if my physics and chemistry doesn't work out I know that I have an option of going into economics with maths uh, and like going into that field so that way IB is very liberal mm. and um, it like it opens up your options and we have Mr. Tariq and Watson Lee. Uh Mr. Tariq uh, we wanted to know more about like of course it can give you freedom it can make you feel that oh my god sky's the limit you can try anything but then this fear and in Indian scenario mm -hmm. where uh, the moment the child passes class 12th and not only the parents the whole world around them starts talking about which profession you know so uh, after 12th actually because we feel that uh, undergraduation gives you the answer to your profession which is changing but not much IB after doing IB I'm sorry, doing your 12th from IB board uh, what are the options for the child it uh, depends on the option that's uh, that subject combination that the students do take some students do opt for physics, physics uh, chemistry and maths at higher level we have different levels actually out of six groups we have to choose three subjects at the higher level that means they study in depth of those subjects and we study three subjects at a uh, probably a lower level or a standard level so it depends on the subject combination uh, a student who is more interested towards engineering will of course take physics chemistry and maths as higher level a student who is more interested towards business and economics of course will take business economics but of course he will have to study one of the sciences but the option is there with him so it's a well accepted curriculum around the world india of course it's catching up as of now uh, it's being accepted by all universities in india uh, so based on the predicted grades that we do give in the month of january uh, the colleges do accept uh, give admissions because the results come out a bit late the results of the ib come out in july by the time most uh, colleges do finish up the uh, admission formalities but yeah it's well accepted everywhere uh, it gives the leverage to the student to yeah because that's the fear of the parents you know that is uh, they will not get admission at least in delhi university or in indian universities so how far it's true no as of now i think it's uh, well accepted all over india and of course there is a talk be between delhi university and a group of schools that will make the admission process a bit more simpler but yeah Students are getting into uh, Bombay universities, they are getting into Bangalore, down south, and of course uh, in Calcutta. No? So, uh, what has you been uh, part of IB now for the last two months? So, what's different there? Uh, Ma'am, first of all, it's uh, as I said, it's a very liberal board, and um, it allows you to do things that. Um, it takes up a lot of your time that uh, I must add before. It but you have a lot of time. 
ma'am yes but it it makes you work really hard uh, there's a lot of paperwork and even the amount of um, hours that you have to give in to things like service creativity activities uh, your sports and uh, apart from that the mainly your studies also uh, it's quite like some of the things for example in physics that are being taught are not even taught in the second year of undergraduate students in india and uh, it's it's quite a lot um, like uh, it allows it, it requires a high order thinking it very high order thinking in ib is required in almost every subject like tok for example th theory of knowledge is there in every subject um and you have like simple simple things you question you start questioning them and theory of knowledge makes you do that it's a lot of hard work i must say it's a lot of hard work but it's fun you don't mind doing that hard work and but if you have an aptitude towards that you know like aptitude towards learning of yes. course is very important one of the most important things in ib is to be open minded mm -hmm. you need to be open minded and you need to be a thinker you need to we need to allow our minds to flow and our thoughts to flow so that um, we can think of different things you know not the conventional things that are being taught every day or even the things that are being taught every day we start questioning them so uh, to an extent ib requires you to be a dialectic being one last thing i would like to ask which is again a big fear of parents is that how expensive the ib courses are ib uh, curriculum if the child opts for it and uh, after that the options which the child has to opt because if they have to go out of india again the expense you know this is a big even if we've reached a stage where we can you know have we have that much of uh, money but still that fear of expense on education is very much there in ib is of course an expensive curriculum to start with uh, but when you talk about uh, undergraduate uh, education abroad or india of course if you plan to go abroad the expenses will be a bit more Uh, but yeah if it's if the if the students are planning to stay back in india i'm sure the expenses are at par as any other board student but the yeah, ib as a curriculum is a bit more expensive than a uh, national curriculum yeah but then again yeah uh ma'am like it's it might be expensive but it's worth it that's that's something that's uh, we need to so uh, you know it actually prepares you for university and uh, you know it's the misfortune of our generation this generation that i am is that we've been born into a world of many preachers but few practitioners and ib teaches you to be a practitioner and not only a preacher yeah so Creative that is yes, yes that is something that is one of the main purposes of ib yes you know and we have been focusing we've been trying through these series that how to create that thinker within you know because we've stopped thinking we, we are in that automated mode it comes and we just do it we become the doers rather than the beings uh, watsale and uh, mr tarik thank you so much for this open source searching thank you thank you yes change is happening we've been talking about changes in the education system and through this platform every time we talk about what is new which is happening in the education system ib board of course opens up for uh, the thinker within you know like the kids who want to really think differently and they are not getting even parents are trying their level best but actually they were failing at many places so even if it happens in the school we at home might start changing time to really understand what is meant by global citizens you know globally connecting with each other and that also with compassion and love because these are the basis of humanity and for that we really need to understand spiritually where we stand so time now for spiritual significance <laughs> world there is a feeling of oneness and togetherness people are talking about one world one family global brotherhood is no more just a gimmick but becoming a reality there are wars going on there's racism and there's fear but at the same time there's need to get connected love compassion togetherness and peace is connecting people globally We have reached a stage in the time cycle where duality will be replaced by oneness. The golden era marked by man achieving perfection and living a life of bliss and oneness is not far away. And these children bear that promise in them. 
at this moment in the world we are looking for that global connect because we are understanding there's some other energy which is working with us and we are connecting not only with individuals but with far off people of course globally we are getting connected but are our kids really ready to get into that global world making this a global village for that we really have to at times accept changes changes always will not be right but once we have tested them once we have accepted them and they have shown positive results there is no harm in making that change a permanent thing in my life at times conflicts can be there but mapping those conflicts will give me another dimension the third aspects so time now for mapping the conflicts <music> child's view. We like to know and also want to question existing notions. But it does not mean we don't respect elders. Parents view. Questioning is good but few things are beyond questioning and we don't have to give explanations to our children. Solution. Inquisitiveness and respect can coexist. Explaining doesn't mean we're giving in and this will set an example for the child. child's view gathering global knowledge makes us more confident and gives us more options parents view in the pursuit of western knowledge kids completely ignore indian values and knowledge which will make them ruthless solution we are at a juncture in the world's drama where we can take the best from both the worlds but it's a delicate balance which can only be achieved if you're a keen seeker with this we come to an end of this episode but as always i would like to say it again this is your platform please feel free to give us any suggestion any thought which you have about parenting we would love to include that aspect in our show so till the time we meet again enjoy parenting